Good morning, my dear students of class 2. I welcome you all once again for the science sessions of your online lessons. Children, in this session we will learn about what are wild animals. In our previous session, we learnt about the domestic animals, farm animals and what are pet animals, right? How do they help us in various ways? We get food from the animals and they help us in many ways. In this lesson, wild animals, we will learn about wild animals, homes of wild animals and eating habit. This is a leopard. It is a wild animal. This is a tiger. It is a wild animal. This is an elephant. It is a wild animal. What is this? It is a fox. It is also a wild animal. Zebra, lion, tiger and hippopotamus. These animals are called wild animals. The animals which live in forests are known as wild animals. Okay, children. Homes of wild animals. Let us learn where do the wild animals live. So here, animals living on land are called land animals. Example, lion, horse and cow. These are the land animals, the fish, the dolphin and the octopus. These animals live on water. They are known as water animals. What is this? These are frogs, alligators and the tortoise. They live on both that is land as well as water. These animals are known as amphibians. Eating habits of the animal. So here vegetarians eat plants that is the herbivorous animal. Non-vegetarian hunt for food that is carnivorous animal. So here you can see the herbivorous animals such as cow, buffalo and horses. They eat grass. They are herbivorous animals. The sheep, zebra, goat and deer. They are also herbivorous animals which eats plants and grass. The animals which eat the other animals are known as carnivorous animals like tiger, leopard, snake, eagle and lion. They eat the flesh of other animals. They are known as carnivorous animals. Here, the carnivorous animals eats the other animals, the flesh of the other animals.
What are scavengers? Scavengers are the animals which eat the dead animals. Animals such as vulture, jackal and hyenas eat the flesh of dead animals. In this way, they help to keep our earth clean. So children, hopefully you have understood the lesson about wild animals. Right? Now we will go on to our answering session of our lesson 3. Okay children? So let us see the activity here given in page number 35. You have various things in the column. That is the milk we get it from cow. The eggs we get from hen. Honey we get from honeybee. The wool we get from sheep. And the silk we get from silkworm. Okay children. Now we will move on to the next session. That is next main of the lesson. Fill in the blanks with the correct words. That is page number 36. The exercise. Animals that can be kept at home or in farms are called as domestic animals. You can mark domestic. Milk help us to dash, that is grow and stay healthy. You can mark grow and stay healthy children. Third one is bee wax is used to make candles. Mark bees wax. Fourth one, silk is used to make saris. You can mark silk. We get dash from the skin of dead animals. You can mark leather. We get leather from the skin of dead animals. Now we will we'll move on to our next main that is choose the correct answers. First one is all of these. When, in which of the places do we find animals? In forest, farm and homes. So you will mark all of these. Which of these animals cannot be tamed and kept at home? That is foxes and jackals, lions and tigers, snakes and crocodiles. So you will mark all of these. Which of these animals would you keep in a stable? That is horse. Which of these are not milk product? That is honey and egg. Which of these are not made of leather? Sweaters and saris. Which of these do we get egg from? Hens and ducks. So we shall move on to the next main which is give example for each of the following. First one, animals that gives us milk, cow and goat, animals that gives us egg, hens and ducks, animals that gives us meat, sheep and goat, animals that gives us leather, buffaloes and camel. Animals that carry loads for us. Oxen and horse. We shall move on to the next main that is true or false. You will write T for a true statement and F for the false statement. Okay children. Now first one is F. That's a false statement. Second one is a true statement. Third one is a true statement. Fourth one is a false statement. And fifth one is a false statement. 
Now we shall move on to the next main which is a uh, map. Okay. Recall concept map. Animals that help us. The left side you have the domestic animals. That is the example is cow and goat. At the right side you have pets. Dogs and cats. Okay children. Hopefully you have done the answering correctly. So I shall catch you up with the next session. Until then prepare nicely. Bye bye and take care.